Let's get straight into this Bradley Bill trade. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Suns did it for back to back years. They robbed them like they're Robin Hood with this trade. They literally got a bag of chips for Bradley Bill. Not even a good bag of chips. Original Lay's bag of chips. Like no seasoning, just salt, bro. This is ridiculous. This is the second time it happened. They did it with the Kevin Durant trade. Now they're doing it again. They give up CP who's aging, so they didn't need him anyways, and they didn't want him on the team. Shaman, who showed up for one game against the Nuggets in, like, the fourth quarter, and he did nothing for the rest of the season. And they did pick swap, so they still technically have their own pick. And then they gave up second-rounders, which, who really cares about second-rounders? So they got that all for Bradley Beal. And people are saying that this is a bad trade for the Suns because it lacks them of depth, and, like, they can't have the salary to go sign someone. Well... They already couldn't really do that. And on top of that, they got rid of Chris Paul. And people are going to still want to play with this team. There's always going to be that ring-chasing vet that's going to want to come to the team. In my opinion, to get this team more depth, I had to go after a play like a, a John Wall type player. Because he can provide defense, he can facilitate, and he can get to the basket at will. And then for the big man situation, you could still get someone like a Montrez Harrell, you know. He's just a solid big man to have, like, off the bench. And if you had to start him, he's not the best option, but he's feasible. Pat Bev, someone who's, you know, going to try on defense, stay in front of his man, try and get the other person out of their game, and... Just players like that that you can get on a minimum contract or a low contract to get on your team. And these are players that want to win. They want rings. So I think that's a perfect thing for this team. For example, in the 2018-2019 season, DeMarcus Cousins joined the Golden State Warriors. And we all thought it was over because, you know, it's DeMarcus Cousins. And that was the one weakness that the Golden State Warriors had. They never had a big. So we thought it was over. We thought that it was done and finished. But I think the same thing that happened to that team could be the same thing that happens to this team. That Golden State Warriors team was riddled with injuries. And if we look at this Suns team, they have players like KD and Bradley Beal. In this past season, Bradley Beal, he didn't play really any games. Kevin Durant, he went down with an oh, interesting injury. Like, it was just a freak accident injury. So that's the one thing that's for sure going to be iffy about this team. I'm going to kind of look at them as like the Clipper situation. Where it's like, this team can be phenomenal, but if healthy. But I'd like to see it. And also, I hear people saying, like, Bradley Beal, he's interesting because he's never been in a winning situation. Which is true, but also isn't true. Because in Washington with John Wall, they did go to the playoffs. Beal's been to the playoffs as recently as the 2020-2021 season. We averaged 30 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists. And I think that's great for him. And he did that alongside Russell Westbrook, who's a ball-dominant player. And I think he'll be able to fit on this Suns team perfectly fine. And everyone else is complaining about the Suns. Oh, they don't have a point guard. I feel like they'll be perfectly fine without a point guard. Because when they played the Nuggets and Chris Paul wasn't playing, I felt like the team actually looked better. Devin Booker had 47 points, 9 assists, and 6 rebounds. And I think he facilitated the ball pretty decently when Chris Paul wasn't there. So I feel like running him at the point and then running Bill at shooting guard would be perfectly fine. The only thing I'm worried about is defense on that team because they already don't have the defensive depth that they need. The Suns have an ace in the hole in this trade because they never had to give up DeAndre Ayton, their most valuable trade asset. And what they can do is they can go out and get another star or they can get the depth that they need. And I believe personally that they should go get the depth. But I was looking at it and I was like, let's just go to a team that develops young talent and that is like on the way to a rebuild. So I went to the Toronto Raptors and the Suns could straight up go ahead and say, you know what, how about you give us Pascal Siakam and we'll give you Aiden. And it makes sense because Pascal, he's already gonna be on the way out because I don't think the team's gonna resign Fred Van Vliet and his type of play already interacts with Scotty Barnes. So they'd rather have Scotty Barnes develop. So in conclusion, the Suns would have a great four man lineup. And Pascal Siakam, he provides that championship DNA. He provides defense. He can get to the basket and he can space the floor for this team. So he's a very versatile and interesting piece to have on this team. But I personally think that they should go the depth route. And that's because they didn't have depth last year. And what they did is they really just acquired another offensive piece to the point where they don't need as much depth. But there's no point of adding another star superpower to this team. So with depth, I think that it would be able to put them against people like the Clippers if they were healthy. So that it's not such a mismatch when they play them because the Clippers have a lot of depth. Or, as we mentioned, the Denver Nuggets. So I think with that depth, this team would be deadly and they have a great starting lineup. So the main things that this team needs is defense and a bench. 
But with that being said, I think that the Suns, they fleeced them. Again, I think that this was a great trade for them. And if you stay tuned to the next video, I'm going to be working out trades to deal DeAndre Ian to get depth for this team. But till then, NBA Sphinx, out.